a uh, good day guys i hope you're all doing so well so today you're gonna deal with a hyperbolic function or we're gonna determine the equation of hyperbolic function né? with the use of this information here simple né, guys so consider g at x equal to a over x plus p plus q hyperbola and get no debate the following information of g is given the domain x intercept y intercept only information that is given in this function you must use this information to determine the value of uh, a p and q i mean the value of yeah the value of a p and q simple right? yes so let, let's come back here domain so remember you must just show the equation of this of g is given by g x cos negative one over x plus two plus we must prove this with the use of this information simple let's start with the, the, the value of domain domain x is a matter of red number such that x is not equal to negative two let's let me just write this equation here y equal uh, a over x plus p plus q ne? first thing is what is the what is the, what is the what is the domain of this function domain we find it here the domain of this function you're gonna just say x plus p is not equal to negative 2 i mean it's not equal to 0 base yes ne. then now we want to be left with x on one side therefore x is not equal to negative p this is my domain of this function now let us use this domain here to find the value of q i mean the value of p in this equation ne? so remember guys when the value of p uh, it comes out of this function it changes the sign from positive to negative or from negative to positive vice versa meaning when this value of x we bring it back to the fraction meaning it's going to change the sign from negative to positive that means the value of p is equals to positive 2 because of what here it is negative 2 that means when it comes back to the bracket it's going to change the sign from negative to positive 2 that's the value of p let me just write the equation that as it is uh, uh, let me just change the the marker ne? so that we can just properly see it uh, now guys let me just write the equation as it is ne? y equal a over x plus 2 plus q then you are done with the value of p then now i'm done with determining the domain i'm done with explaining the concept of domain in this case now let's come back here x intercept x intercept at k equals to 1 and 2 you're gonna use that those coordinates of x intercept and substitute, and substitute them when you see y and when you see x to find it's, bas it's basically gonna uh, get into the concept of simultaneous equation because there are two unknown variables here yeah. so use these two coordinates to find the value of a and q by the use of simultaneous equation let's go let's do that uh, in a rapid way yeah. let me just use one and zero for now my x is one my y is zero zero equals to a over one plus two plus q then a over three plus q equals to zero oh maybe left with q on one side i transpose a over three to that side it's gonna be negative a over three equals to q because zero minus a over three is equals negative a over three that's my equation number one i'm done then equation number two i'm going to take y intercept and substitute y c x and y zero and negative one over two y c x and y simple what is my x zero what is my y negative one over two let's do that negative one over two equal to a x zero plus two and just remember my p is equal to two plus q then obviously i'm gonna be left with i want i want to be left with q on one side so that i can just equate i'm, I'm gonna show you right now to do it now yes uh oh, let me just leave it Le okay let me just simplify it. Negative 1 over 2 equals to uh, 
a over 2 plus q guys there are many ways of simplifying a simultaneous equation i can just leave it like this and just substitute 1 into 2 or i can just uh, equate i can just leave q on the side as a subject of the formula and just equate this equation and this equation ne? simple so the, the easiest way we can solve this problem let's just leave it like this ne? let's just leave it like this Yes, I think we must leave it like this. Né? Yeah, let me just say equation number two. So they cannot confuse you. Né? Now, substitute one into, into two. Simple. I mean, where is, your, where is your Q in two? Put in negative A over three. That's what he's saying. Where is your, where is your Q in two? substitute negative a over 3 here is my q i put in this here to find obviously a because q and over 10 other has the final negative 1 over 2 equals to uh, equals to uh, a over 3 and just uh, a over 2 as this guys a over 2 a over 2 let me just write it in the, in the proper way negative 1 over 2 equals to a over 2 plus what is the value of q negative a over 3 symbol ne? positive by negative is negative a over 2 minus a over 3 equals negative 1 over 2 then now simple ne, guys. so here guys uh, i need to and here we have lcd here because uh, 2 and 3, I can just multiply them to give me 6. Nah. I need LCD divided by 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times A is 3A. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times A is minus 2A. Then 3 minus, they are like times 3A minus 2A is A over 6. And here, negative 1 over 2. Then I cross multiply here because it's equal sign. Negative 1 times 6 is negative 6. A times 2 is 2A. Then the value set by 2. The value set by 2. Then the value of A is equals to minus 3. Then you are done. Find the value of A. Oh, guys, I, I made a mistake here. This is supposed to be 3, not ne they're not negative 1. This is, to be, this is supposed to be 3 here. So, guys, ne so it's going to be negative 3. Negative 3. Yeah, that's how it is, guys. Ne yes. Then now I found the value of a. Let me just find the value of q. What is the value of q? So according to the simultaneous uh, equation, uh, I can just substitute y c a on either of the two equations to find basically my q. So I can just use this equation, it's not a problem. Yeah? So now let me just use my equation number one to find the value of q. The value of q is equal to a uh, negative. And yeah. What is the value of a? It's negative 3 divided by 3. Then negative, negative 3 divided by neg negative 3 divided by 3 is negative 1. Then negative times negative is positive 1. The value of q is equal to positive 1. Guys, that's how we write it. Then therefore, therefore, you must write the equation as it is now. Therefore the value of therefore the equation of this function is y equal negative three x plus two plus one. That's how you find it guys. That's how you find the value of or oh, that's how you find the equation of this function. Yeah. Yes, that's how you find it. I hope you understand. Thank you for your time. So remember